Bom dia a todos. Espero que todos tenham um ótimo sábado. Bom rever a todos por aqui. É, Martinha, Silvio, Patrícia Caetano, querida, Sônia Carvalho. Hoje temos um... Primeiro, começar pedindo desculpas pelo atraso. Como a Luciana Chimenez falou, a China é um pouquinho longe, então a gente teve que diminuir um pouco, encurtar a distância. Mas estamos aqui hoje com um grande convidado, né, que a gente tem muito prazer, muito orgulho em receber, o professor Shen Heyang. Professor Shen, He Shen Heyang, é um prazer recebê-lo, uma grande satisfação tê-lo conosco no Teaços, né? O senhor falou que é o teu primeiro contato com um grupo brasileiro, com um grupo junguiano brasileiro, o que nos deixa bastante honrado em termos esse privilégio. Eu vou apresentar o senhor de maneira formal. O professor Shen Riang é PhD, professor de psicologia na Universidade da Cidade de Macau e na Universidade Normal do Sul da China. Ele é analista junguiano pela IAP, também terapeuta de Sand Play, presidente fundador da Federação Chinesa de Psicologia Analítica e Terapia de Sand Play. O professor também Rei Yang é o principal organizador da Conferência Internacional de Psicologia Analítica e Cultura Chinesa. Ele é palestrante das conferências Eranos e da Fei Lecture, editor-chefe da tradução chinesa das obras completas de Carl Gustav Jung, editor-chefe do jornal chinês de psicologia analítica e principal organizador do projeto Jardim dos Corações e da Alma. Professor Rei Yang, um prazer recebê-lo, é uma grande alegria tê-lo conosco, tentar encurtar essa distância entre a China e o Brasil, espero que seja uma ótima oportunidade de troca e de intercâmbio aqui entre nós, que possa ser a primeira de várias. Sinta-se bem-vindo. A palavra é do senhor. Oh, yes. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much, and good morning. This is uh, in China and uh, nine o'clock in the evening. And uh, thank you very much for Marcos, the beautiful introduce. Even, I'm not very sure about that, but anyhow, I have a Isa. Thank you so much for the translator. So the, my voice is okay? Okay, and I'm sorry, I cannot use the point point. And I think uh, it's uh, someone can help me with the, the point point. Now the first page, shall start and uh, good morning. And many thanks for the invitation. It's my honor and uh, pleasure. And uh, the title for this presentation about the human and Chinese culture, the knowledge of the heart and the heart of psychology. Recently, I gave a I gave a presentation on the Eleanor's conference with the theme of uh, Jung and the Red Book, Spirit of the Depths and the Knowledge of the Heart. For the Jung's Red Book for our time searching for the soul and the postmodern conditions. Uh, next page. So that's, uh, in his later years, Si Jun frequently considered the dangers to the world. And he said, you can see the point, point I make the quote from Si Jun, the world has but thin thread. And that thread is the human soul. You also said, we need more understanding of human nature because the only real danger that exists is man himself. He's the great danger. And we are pitifully unaware of it. We know nothing of man, far too little his psyche 
should be started because we are the origin of all coming evil. Quote from CGU. As a uni analyst, I feel that you know, is a speaking to us for a present time, a time of crisis with pandemic, the situation in Ukraine and in the world as a whole. Psyche and soul and the heart are the echoes of Jung's thought speaking and calling to us. Next. This picture is a uh, it's the uh, uh, last conference of IAP in Vienna. Uh, for this presentation, I use the three part. Uh, the first, Jung and the Chinese culture. That's Marcos gave me a task, asking me to talk about the Jung and the psychology and the Chinese culture. Second, the knowledge of the heart. The knowledge of the heart is Jung's uh, searching in his red book and black books. And the third part is the heart of psychology. Next. The, a published book, you can see the Jung's uh, face, the, the picture uh, two years ago with the title of uh, Jung and the Chinese culture. Uh, with the six cha chapters, more than you to the forwards of this, uh, this book in Chinese, I think the chapters, the title, is, would be a thread to show for the, yeah, even a thread of a discussion about the Jung and the Chinese culture. The first, so more than you to the forward, I show some part of the foreword, what Morris Dan talked about in the Yuan the China. I drew the preface by myself, Yuan the Chinese culture, destiny animation. As uni analyst, we know the very interesting story about the Xi Jinping and the Richard Wurham. And Re Richard Wurham lived in China for 23 years. And he brought the Yi Jing, the Chinese Taoism, and the translation with the Xi Jinping. The first chapter with the title of Jung's Compassion for Chinese Culture. Each chapter, I use the three parts. The first part, the fate of Xi Jinping and the Chinese culture. And uh, Richard Wilhelm wrote an article, very interesting, with the title, I Met Xi Jinping in China. And uh, Richard Wilhelm said, uh, you have never been in China, but in China for the 20 years, I just feel, have a feeling, I met Xi Jinping every day. That behind of that, Richard Wilhelm thought you is a Chinese. And uh, a very interesting article that's uh, by Richard Wilhelm. The second part of this the first chapter is Chinese atmosphere in youth house. The, let's see, the, in the study room, you sometimes received a patient many years ago. <coughs> the, the whole wall is a painting from China about the Guanyi, the goddess of mercy, beautifully. And uh, you have a, besides of the study room, it's a library, it's a small room, it's a secret room. Uh, sometimes you received patient inside of that room also. There's a Chinese calli calli writing hang on the gate, on the, the door to that secret room. And uh, in the Jung's uh, desk, he's uh, facing every day, is a statue of a Buddha from China. And uh, Beyond of that is his books. The most important books is uh, 
called the, the, the Eastern Wisdom. It's uh, 50 volumes. What you face it, the 50 volumes included the Yin Jing and uh, like, like the, the Chinese Taoism, Zen Buddhism. So that's uh, in the book I described about the Chinese atoms fear in his house. The, uh, the third part is a Chinese image in his heart. Uh, for instance, the, the, in the garden, there is a beautiful tree, pingu tree from China. Yun died, passed away in uh, 1961, June 6. The, as we know the very interesting story, the, the day, the June 6, uh, that's next week, the, the, the weather changed suddenly when Yun passed away, thunder and the lightning. And one light is uh, hit the tree in Yun's garden. And that tree is a local tree. It's growing up quite big. And Yun like to, to read books under the tree. That tree hit and fired and died, the tree. Another tree is the students of uh, Kuznacht, the Yun Institute, give as a birthday for Yun's birthday, uh, imported from China. And that tree grew even today. Very interesting, quite a big tree. Under the tree, Yun cut in Chinese a stone. And uh, that stone for a me memorial for Tony Wolf. He cut in Chinese. So that's uh, uh, collected the story about the Jung's personal relationship with the Chinese culture. So that's first chapter. So the next. The next is a chapter second. So uh, with the the topic, the theme is about Jung and Richard Wilhelm, conversation of Confucianism. The Richard Wilhelm have a Chinese name. This Chinese name is the gardens the, to protect Confucianism, Richard Wilhelm. So with the, are you the three parts? And as I mentioned, Richard Wilhelm wrote the very interesting article on Magic City in China. And uh, Wilhelm, with the youth heart, we know that in the memory uh, dreams, uh, memories, dreams, reflection, youth autobiography, and the uh, CGM, and with the, uh, he talked about Richard Wilhelm. And Richard Wilhelm passed away in 1930. And the CGM wrote very touching for presentate for the memorial of uh, Richard Wilhelm. The third part is Yun and Wilhelm, messengers of Chinese culture. Yun said the fate, the destiny of himself and uh, Richard Wilhelm, they are trying to build the bridge, uh, Richard Wilhelm in China East and the Jun in Switzerland in the West. The destiny of both of them tried to build the bridge. So the third chapter is the Yun and the Yijing. That's a very interesting one. Yun learned Yijing first from the Liak before he met Richard Wilhelm. That's, uh, he studied many years. Yun said, frankly, he could not understand very well by reading of a re Liak, the translation, English, beautiful translation. But the Sijun, is the words, everything is clear, but he cannot, cannot, he could not get the meaning. When he met Richard Wilhelm in 1920, in the Wisdom of School in Germany, and the next year, Sijun invited Richard Wilhelm to the club, Zulish club. And uh, Richard Wilhelm talked about the Yijing, very interesting is the Sijun brought the question, asked Richard Wilhelm to divide, to get the high score of the images. 
uh, and that's question related, how about the development of analytical psychology in 1921? As we know, Jung is ready to publish his book, Psychological Types. The subtitle is Psychology of Individuation. So the Richard Arham get his grant for his C.G. Jung. And C. Jung said after the one year, everything in the discussion one year ago came true. That's, uh, so for Richard Wilhelm, I use the three parts. And then the third, third chapter is Jung, uh, I'm sorry, the third chapter is Jung and Yi Jing, I still use the three parts. The first part, Jung's encounter with Yi Jing, as I mentioned, Liag and Richard Wilhelm. The second is the Yi Jing and the Jungian analysis. For C.G. Jung, and uh, even included Sigmund Freud, for instance, dream interpretation and uh, depth psychology. And uh, we have a method, dream interpretation or active imagination to get the message from the, the dream, for instance, unconscious. The, but for CTU, even Sigmund Freud himself compared with the Yi Jing, it's just a very small part, far away to get the, the aim. But for C2, everything it looks like in the Yi Jing already. Because the Jung said, he's a jealous lover of Yi Jing. It's not really the, the rational, that understanding, but some compassion. And uh, uh, recent, recently, in the Adenos, I talk about the, the, in the late year of C.G. Jung, he not very satisfied with active imagination. He tried to go further. He tried to find a new method. He named just intuitive method. Intuitive method is how to use your heart, not just use your head. I showed the story and uh, for discussion today, we know that in the uh, in the January of uh, 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 in January of 1925, Jung visited the United States and met the Mountain Lake, the American Indian. We have a dialogue conversation about different function of the head and the heart. That's changed the CGO. That's conversation. So later we can I use the that story. So intuitive method is related to his, uh, to Jung's mission, his, the mission of red book and the black books, try to find the knowledge of the heart, the knowledge of the heart. We know the Pascal, Jung influenced also by this uh, beautiful thinker. The heart has its reason. The reason doesn't know at all. So this, this Pascal's famous and the thing influenced CGO. CGO in the red book and the black books, he tried very hard to get to the knowledge of the heart. When he get to the knowledge of the heart, he tried to go further to, to make the method or technique, intuitive method, how to get to the total situation, not with the eye, ear, mouth with this uh, cognitive head, but to get the real meaning. Si Jun said this method from China, from the Yijing. So I gave a discussion with the, this last week for this intuitive method with the union analysis. The third part of this uh, chapter three is about the synchronicity and uh, timing of Yijing. The synchronicity Jung, Jung started the, his uh, first lecture at the Eleanor's in 1933 with the process, the a study of the process of individu individuation. Beautiful case. But the non picture for this uh, uh, start presentation, C.G. Jung in Eleanor's East and the West Round Table. It's important for nine picture, nine picture 
he named as the soul flower. The patient painted a mandala. You give the give the name as the soul flower. For this Western, we know today he's a Miss X, but he's a, uh, from the United States, a lady in the Middle Age. He draw four hexagrams of Yi Jing with this soul flower. I think some years ago, I interpreted again for Jung's uh, first presentation at the Adenals. And the last presentation of C. Jung at the Adenals is 1956 with the title of the Synchronicity. And Jung said very clearly, this Synchronicity, he even cooperated with the Pauli, his patient for this uh, not choral relationship not causes and effect that kind of relationship, but a new relationship. And Jung said it is from the Yi Jing. And also you mentioned he, uh, he's a friend of uh, Einstein, they are colleagues at the University of Zurich, and also influenced him. And the party, his patient gave a contribution, but the most important, this synchronicity is from Chinese philosophy, the Yi Jing. Next. I'm sorry, I should do by myself, but uh, uh, some, some difficult with uh, my com computer today. The chapter four is a Yun and a Dao. The Dao in Chinese is uh, very important, uh, Lao Zi, Zhuang Zi, and uh, Oh, very often in Jung's uh, uh, writings. I'm the chief editor of Jung's Collect Works, a Chinese version. So I'm familiar with the contents of the Collect Works. And besides of the Collect Works, we translated nine volumes, an another part of a nine, for instance, Memory, Dreams, Reflections, Red Book. So we with, uh, extended Jung's uh, Collect Works. And uh, for the 1921, the psychological types, the book, that's the first you know, try to give an image of his uh, system of analytical psychology. He quoted from Lao Tzu, the Tao, for, let's see, that's uh, 81 chapters, you know, quoted about 50 chapters. So that's uh, his, uh, the funding of our analytical psychology is so close with the Chinese Tao. What's the meaning for Tao, for Si Jiyun, for our analytical psychology? You try to, uh, to deal with, find the way to resolve the, the opposite. The opposite is uh, the, the, the conflict between opposite or like the consciousness and the unconsciousness, like a yin and a yang. He tried to find a way beyond of that object or integrate the object. And for Si Jiyun, the Tao is most important way for the integrate or beyond the, the conflict of the, the object. And you, very often use the Greek, uh, is, uh, Greek language uh, in Andromedia. I'm not very sure, I, this is not English. In Andromedia is uh, how to deal with these uh, objects. And you finally and found the secret. It's a secret weapon. It's not only the I Ching, but also the Tao. So Jung talk about the Tao the, the way and the meaning because Richard Wilhelm, Jung, Jung learned Chinese characters language, very interesting. So today we can see of the, 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 Jung, uh, the art of Jung. That's a few years ago, the Jung family published the book. Uh, Jung's very nine years old, 10 years old, Jung started to draw pictures. Uh, in that book, the art of C.G. Jung, the family, have the picture of Jung cut in Chinese. I have the copy of that picture many, many years ago. 
but I keep the con <laughs> I, I didn't use openly. I translated that, that part to Andreas Jung, the Chinese. I gave us three version of the translation, what exactly was the meaning of the C. G. Jung cut from memorial of C. G. Jung originally in Chinese. So the, the, the Richard Jung said, the Tao is very difficult to translate into West. So the first, the, the missionary of the West in China, they, they even translate the Tao as a God. And the, but CG appreciated very much for Richard Wilhelm translation of the Tao as the meaning, big N, the meaning. The second part is the secret of golden flower. Uh, probably that's uh, from Chinese Taoism, very important essay. And the young Richard Wilhelm translated it into Germany. And that's a beautiful story. When 1927, Jung got a dream. And he named the dream of Liverpool, a Liverpool dream. And even in England, we know that the British have a Liverpool, the city, but the Jung interpreted the Liverpool. That's the pole of the life. And he tried to draw, to, to like that he draw the film for his active imagination with the dream, very important the dream, but he failed by the painting. Today we can see the, the he tried very simply, he tried to make the picture of the dream, but he failed. A few weeks later, you painted the, win, the window eternity, window for eternity or eternity of the window. And, uh, and after that, he have the last mandala. We know that in the red books, he painted a lot of mandalas and that's directed the CGO to the meaning of the self and the way of individuation process. But the last mandala is the, uh, the golden castle. The golden castle, when he finished the last mandala, he wondering in his study rooms, why so Chinese? Nothing from the picture with the Chinese, but when he painted this mandala, the feeling, atmosphere is surrounding him, why so Chinese? He could not understand. But at that moment, that moment, some knock, knock in the door, and somewhere he opened the door, they have a, Parcel with the, he opened, it's from Richard Wilhelm, the secret golden flower, Asian Chinese text. And the Jung wrote the, the, the uh, lure of the painting of the golden castle, he wrote this proof of synchronicity, message or message from China. So the secret golden flower it's your first time try to bring out his method of active imagination. Beautifully done. And uh, that's related to the self, the meaning of the self and individuation. And the third part of the chapter four, I talk about the Tao and the alchemy and active, active imagination because uh, Jung's alchemy as we know, is a secret weapon again, because uh, in the collected works of C.G. on the 12th volume, 16, uh, the, I'm sorry, 13 volume and the 14 volumes all related to alchemy. And the 14 volume is the Jung's uh, last great piece of work. After he finished the fourth, the, the volume of uh, collected works, he thought, okay, everything is done. And even after that, you wrote some uh, quite interesting papers, but the, not so big one. So the uh, apple was called, the, uh, you, if we use the, the terms of alchemy, he finished, the fulfilled. So the alchemy for C.G. is uh, the interest to, that's related to the Liverpool dream and also it is related to Richard Wilhelm and the secret golden flower. The last page, not really our last page for red book, for red book we know, 
for that book. I have the, the red book, black book behind me. The the so he, he that's in 1959. You wrote, I finished. I finished the. He talked about why he, he. That's 1959. As we know that, that's for this uh, last. He started with the uh, Richard Wilhelm and the secret golden flower. And he interested in not only in alchemy, but he returned back to the, to, to the social. So he lonely for his self experiment for so many years. That's the event and not really weakening CDO. But the CDO returned back to the social, the real reality. And he stopped the, his working on the Red Book and he mentioned to the alchemy. He turned his interest into the alchemy. That's uh, in, in China, we call the alchemy with the, the inner, inner, alchemy, inner alchemy. So if we are, uh, read the secret of golden flower, you can see the Doist, a lot of painting from the Asian Doist. That's active imagination. The, uh, so that's uh, for chapter four, Jung and the Tao. The chapter fifth is for the Jung and uh, about the Jung and the Buddhism. Buddhism is from Indian, we know that, but in the Han Dynasty, when the Buddhism went to China and have a new development, the new de development is partially for the Zen Buddhism and also very famous in Japan as uh, Suzuki is a friend of CGO. In 1940s, Suzuki gave a presentation on Zen Buddhism and uh, Yun was there and about the 10 ox, 10 pictures of the ox. And that's influenced CGO reflection about the individuation process. So when this chapter, I started with the Buddhism in uh, India, for example, the Four Noble Truths, and uh, I, my reflection uh, on the, with the background of a CG analytical psychology is about the freedom and the, transform, and the transit, transitance. Freedom from the suffering, probably. So that's a thing wisdom of this uh, Indian, the Buddhism. Sijun spent three months in India and he wrote several articles, not a big one, and beautifully about his uh, three months experience in a visit to India. So the second part of the chapter fifth is about a mandala experience and the expression of a self. That's uh, if, if, uh, if we read the memory dreams reflection, you mentioned, I could not remember how many mandalas I draw. Many, many, too many. I could not remember how many. But what's the purpose? What's the meaning? And uh, for you himself, slowly, slowly a process is he connected and get to the feeling with the self and the process of individuation. So the third part of this chapter fifth is for the Zen Buddhism. Zen Buddhism is uh, uh, very special in China. The third generation of Huineng in Tang Dynasty and brought the Zen Buddhism to Japan. The Huineng is uh, not the real founder, but we call him the sixth patriarch of the Zen Buddhism. You like him very much. You just like him. And used his uh, teaching quite often in uh, his, uh, his uh, books, works. 
the besides of the Tao, it's difficult to translate. Another term you found very, very difficult is enlightenment. How to translate it into English? The Chinese enlightenment. We call it Wu with the heart and the self, big self, and uh, together. If you really found not you not the ego psychology, but the psychology of the self, big, big as self, and with your heart, that image in Chinese characters is means enlightenment. In the uh, two eighteen, we have the I show you the picture. We have the ACE International Conference of Analytical Psychology and the Chinese Culture. Every three years, we have this conference. The theme of that conference is uh, enlightenment and individuation, East and the West. It's uh, over 1,000 participants and uh, about 200 is from West. So this is uh, chapter four. Next, let's see the ch chapter six. The, where is the chapter six? Okay, the, chap the chapter six. Chapter six with the, the title is Eleanor's and the post union. And uh, I just mentioned Eleanor's round table, Jung started. And even it's not union psychology only, it's the open East and West dialogue. Uh, but the CGO is the soul of Eleanor's. And uh, later, for Neumann, Neumann, Eleanor's is a life. It's not a kind of a life for Neumann. James Human, for instance. And uh, many Yunji, the post Yunji, no, not really post Yunji, my friends, Baba Hanna, they gave a presentation to Eleanor's with the CGO. So the three parts of this, uh, the first, the Eleanor's and the influence because today we still have a uh, Eleanor's. I give a four lectures there, four presentations with the, all of my four presentations for Eleanor's East and West. Your table is about psychology of the heart. For the first one in 1997, and uh, even the last one is the last month. Second part is the post union and the development. Post union, for instance, according to Andrew Samuel, we have a classics. That's uh, my friends, Bob Hanna, even Dr. Joe Henderson. And all of them so interested at the city in Chinese culture with the Yijin. I started with, uh, with Dr. Joe Henderson. I asked him where he learned the Yijin. And Henderson said he learned the Yijin from a CGU. And I just give an example. Uh, Thomas Kirsch passed away. Thomas Kirsch, he analyzed with uh, Dr. Joe Henderson for 43 years, 43, beautiful story. And when that's the true 10 in China, Tom Kirsch, I was in Shanghai, the Fudan University, we gave an open lecture, many people attended. Someone asked a question, as you were the president and you were the president of analytical psychology, IAP, what's the big difference of a Sigmund Freud of your CGO, analytical psychology, and the Freud psychoanalysis? What's the big difference? Thomas Kurz answered, the big difference as a uni analyst, we all learn Yi Jin. We love Chinese culture as CGO. The Sigmund Freud psychoanalysis, they are not. So that's, uh, it looks like the humor, but uh, very, very interesting. So uh, after the, besides of the classics is a development, you know the Marco Fordan. Marco Fordan discussed Yi Jin with the CGO beautifully. He consulted the Yi and, and wrote to Xi Jinping about his, his experience with the Yi Jinping, his understanding and his uh, intuition. And the Jung cross pound the letters. letters. And uh, Neumann I mentioned, when Neumann consulted the Yi Jinping and wrote to Xi Jinping, Xi Jinping interpreted the Yi Jinping meaning of the Heisgram 
and related to the depression of Neumann and he tried to get heal, the healing power from the E.G. Hesgram. The third part of this uh, chapter six is what you and China, I'll show you later about the, I mentioned every series. We have a international conference of uh, Netherlands psychology and the Chinese culture. IAP, the presidents elected, vice presidents, and the senior union analysts, uh, Morris Dan, Tom Kirsch, John Beebe, and Kismet. <laughs> Marcus told me that I kissed just gave a lecture recently, he quite often in China. So, uh, so I wrote the last uh, epilogue uh, with the Jung in my dreams. Uh, for many years, studying union psychology, I totally, I got four dreams with CGO. The four dreams, very interesting. I wrote one book, with the, my dreams, with the five dreams. One is from my dream with the CGO. I visited Bollingen before I, in reality, uh, went to Bollingen. It came in the dream first. I met the CGO who talked a lot in Bollingen. I could not remember his talk in the dream, uh, but you give me a key. And he asked me to open the basement because he have a next next apartment and someone waited. So he gave me the key to open his basement. He said, I could not go with you. I'm supposed to go with you. You can open the basement to find something by yourself. But anyhow, my analyst is Mario Jacobi. Mario Jacobi passed away. Mario Jacobi, very interested in the dream. Oh, the key symbol. So, and after the first dream with the, but the key, I can tell you if, show some my personal experience. In the Cultural Revolution, Cultural Revolution, this difficult time in China, in 1960s, I wounded, I wounded, wounded with my head, with my foot. In my foot, a nail, long nail, hurted me of my foot. And uh, they called red guards, hit me and broke my head. In my personal analysis with the union analysis, the long process, that's when, when I was six years old or seven years old, many, many years ago, when I 30 years old already, I started the union analysis. I, sp I spent several months in the forest of the United States. There's a Southern Illinois University as Edward Swiller, I went there for visiting research, visiting scholar. But I spent every day in the forest for self-analysis. So I got a dream. In a dream, I pull off my mask. Because of the COVID-19, we wear the mask for two years. But that's a soft mask. In my dream, I have a mask of iron, very heavy cut my face many, many years. So I tried to move the mask off in a dream. I tried very slowly and I tried, but finally I make uh, here connected, still connected. I make effort, it's broken, bleeding. The mask, I took off my mask but connected there with the blood. That point is the wounded by the cultural illusion when the 30 years ago almost. This is, but for the key of CGO, and uh, I visited Bollingen many times. One time I walked from Zurich to Bollingen. So, and I borrowed the key from a young family, the key in my hand for a while. I take the key, walk to Bollingen. The key, I, the, the, the key you gave me in a dream, for instance, in the, we know the Asian keys, we have this to type open, you for, okay, like this. When I, in a dream, I wounded several kneel on my foot in a dream, when I, in the Zurich, 
the Kuznak the Jung Institute, I try to pull off the, the nails only the knee, one by one. The last one, I cannot pull off. When I make, make strength in the, with the bone, with my bone, my bone is uh, and with the blood. That's my wounded in a cultural illusion. The wounded and the transformed into the key. That's the suffering the knowledge. That's like Dorothy, the for psychology, know yourself. But how to know yourself? In fact, when I visited there in Dorothy three times, I went to the Greek. I got my understanding, the suffering, the knowledge. So that's my, if someone asked me why you started uni psychology, it's, it's true. In the 2006, we have the first Jung, first Jung week in China. That's supported by the supported by the Swiss government through the embassy of Beijing. The ambassador, his wife is my student. I'm sorry, his wife is my classmate in Zurich. When I started in, in the Kuznacht, the his wife is my, the Bridget is my classmates. We are spent the uh, two years together. So they helped me, I uh, helped them. The embassy with the Beijing University, with the Yung China, the week, the week for City Yung. Someone asked me why you choose uni psychology for to be a uni analyst. I mentioned to cause my wound of the cultural revolution and uh, follow the, the unconscious. I'm not, not very sure the wound. It's my head and my foot, but it's not a personal wound, it's a cultural wound. The cultural illusion is a big, deep wound of a Chinese culture. So that's uh, the, for the book. I'll show you what the uh, next, next is, uh, next is uh, more stack. I think most of you know Morris that uh, just some part of Morris uh, uh, not hold the, the, the forward. I just picked up some part of the forward. You never travel to China, but China traveled to him. It's very interesting. This uh, Morris that started for the forward. Oh, I'm sorry. I just to talk in uh, English. I, the translation, uh, Marcus. If uh, I I don't need to wait for translation, right? Or I have to wait for translation. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So that's more than you never traveled to China, but China traveled to him. It came to him in the form of myths and symbols and in the translation of Chinese classics by his friend Richard Wilhelm. Jung was fascinated by such works as the Yi Jing, the secret of the golden flower, and the Dao De Jing, that's by Lao Tzu, the Dao. Next. The more he continued, quote, he had an enormous appreciation for the cultural depths of Chinese translations and their wisdom. And he tried to learn from Chinese culture, new and different ways of seeing and thinking that are profoundly other from those of his European education and background. He did his best to overcome Eurocentrism and to bring Chinese perspectives and the forms of thinking to Western consciousness and to incorporate, co incorporate important aspects of a Chinese mode, modes of thought into his depth psychological, psychological theory. 
He was convinced that Chinese culture had important contributions to make to Western science and specifically to European approaches to psychotherapy. I just, unquote, I just added some here. After the Second World War, especially, for C. Jung, he thought the Western psychology is not enough for the healing of the soul of the European West after, after the Second World War. So C. Jung found from the I Ching, the Taoism, the Zen Buddhism, from the Eastern wisdom, he tried to bring to his uh, integrated into his analytic psychology for the purpose to heal the soul of the West. Next. Let's continue. For more time, Professor Shen has written a book that gives a full account of the influence and impact of Chinese culture on Jung's life and work. See, Shen is a long time student of analytical psychology and he became the first full trained and accredited Jung psychoanalyst in China. His research into the roots of Chinese psychology, the psychology of the heart, has helped to build important and sturdy bridge between Chinese culture and analytical psychology. The effect, effect, the effort of building a bridge of significant understanding between Eastern and Western cultures is still in its early stages, as far as the West is concerned. And I'm sure much more will be contributed in the years to come next. Next. The picture is uh, many years ago without my <laughs> love beer. The, the, with the Joe Cabri, there's a, a, we cooperate together for, I mentioned every three years, we have an international conference of analytical psychology and the Chinese culture, Joe Cabri, Morris Dan, we work together for that. We in the West are still learning and have barely scratched to the surface of the ancient wisdom contained in the Chinese texts that Jung studied and commented on. Professor Chen is happy us to get a better picture of developments in the Chinese psyche that might be useful in increasing our understanding of commonalities and differences. In case uh, my quotation. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Next, another page. Next. Uh, I just selected not all of the forward. Professor Shen has promoted the dialogue between union psychology and the Chinese culture in his many writings, his lectures, and the teaching, and in uh, uh, numerous conferences. He mentioned the international conferences of analysis of culture and the Chinese culture. Uh, this topic that he has uh, sponsored over the past two decades. The book he presents here on you and the Chinese culture is the further development of this important dialogue. Here he's introducing Chinese readers to the life and the work of you and discussion how you integrated Chinese culture into its psychological works. That's true. When I spent several months in the United States in the forest, I borrowed over 30 books from the library university. When I found the forest, I, stayed, I started my self-analysis. I returned all the books back to the library, but I just kept one the book, Secret Golden Flower. The reason is not by the Richard, Richard Wilhelm, the C. Jung, also. The reason because the subtitle of the Secret Golden Flower, not because of the Secret Golden Flower, because the subtitle. The subtitle is 
a book of Chinese life. So that's attracted me. When I, after the self-analysis several months, I read only one book of the secret golden flower, I wrote a diary. When I, after the read through the book, I didn't find the secret golden flower at that time, but I found the key. The key can open uni psychology. The key is a Chinese, the Yijing Chinese culture is a key to open Jung's system of analytical psychology. But at the same time, uni psychology is a key to open the secret wisdom of a Chinese philosophy. It's a both. Next, another page of the board of us by Professor Shea is uh, laying the foundations for further dialogue in depth between Yunjin thinkers from the West and the scholars of China. I'm sure his book will also show readers in China that analytic psychology can also be useful for recovering the ancient Chinese culture heritage and giving it a new contemporary relevance. That's true. Next. Uh, let me see. Uh, probably I use the, about the 10 minutes, Marcus, I can stop for discussion. You can stop me, Marcus, if we are, yeah, if we stop for questions and uh, dialogue. I prepare too much. You can forget the, but I just the, okay. This is my professor who introduced Sigmund yes. Freud in China in, 19, in 1920s, this professor. It's a very interesting. And I started with him for psychoanalysis for master's degree and a PhD. And I was assistant two years to this old professor. So, okay, Marcus, if uh, you think it's the time for discussion, we can, uh, later I'll show you some pictures about the, the conferences in China, some details probably related to some questions. So I uh, follow you, follow your instruction, Marcus. Isa, é, se ele quiser ter mais 10 minutos, a gente tem um tempinho. Você, tá bom? 10, 15 minutos, tá? Ok. Ok, about 10 minutos. Let's go on. Let's go on for the... Uh, uh, I'll make the, yeah, briefly. Let's see the next picture. Okay, I mentioned this picture, I spent the several months in, in this forest and then got to the dream. The dream is about the fasting of the heart. You like the story very much. We can see with the eye, we also can see with the heart because the, I mentioned the dream, I put off the, my mask. The second step, I pull off my head. I move my head slowly, slowly. Finally, I pull my head on the table. I have a conversation with my head. It's in a dream, of course. But my eye, my ear, my mouth, all with the head. But I can see my head very clearly, it's me. I can hear my head talking without the body. <laughs> but anyhow, that's dream related to the first of the heart from the Taoist. So that means I can see in the dream with my heart. Next. Next. This, uh, this quote from C.G. Jung. What's meaning of the first of the heart? 
you know, intuitive method when the late years of CGO, but unfinished, you know, passed away in the 1961, June 6th. You said, outward hearing should not penetrate further than the ear. The intellect should not seek to lead a separate experience. Thus, the soul can become empty and absorb the whole world. It is thou that feel this emptiness, you continue. If you have insight, says Zhuangzi is a Taoist Chinese, you use your inner eye, your inner ear, to pierce to the heart of things. Excuse me. And have no need of intellectual knowledge. This is obviously an allusion to the absolute knowledge of the unconscious and to the presence in the macrosm of the macro smack events. That's called from the city. Next. Next. That's the uh, old picture, but uh, Thomas Kirsch, if someone knew them, and the Morris Dan. Uh, when I got the dream, I took the train from St. Louis to Los Angeles and visited Tom, uh, contacted with uh, Tom Kirsch and Morris Dan in 1993 with a picture. That's me in 1993. And the next year, Tom Kirsch was the president of IAP. Morris Dan was honored the secretary. They take a trip with China. I invited them. I was the dean of the Department of Psychology at the South China Normal University. They opened, started IAP in China officially. That's the picture. Next. Next is, uh, yes. Then we have the first conference. The first conference, uh, just briefly, the title is Analysis and Experience. We visited a, a temple. The monk said, how could you analyze the soul or psyche? He's not, he's not a saint. So the monk could not understand the meaning of analysis or meaning for the, your soul analysis. So the, the John Bibi asked the monk, what do you do with the soul, the, the psyche? The monk said, will you, the heart, we you experience? So that's uh, give me a very good teaching. So I, I, with the book titled Analysis and Experience East and the West, David Rosen gave his, uh, the Tao CGO. Next. Next is the uh, second conference, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. Luigi was the president of IAP at that time. Uh, he, for the first, I uh, appreciate Luigi very much. This picture, I took this picture in China. He liked this picture very much. The, I took this picture for him. Uh, Luigi, I'm mean, half IAP. I'm sorry, I have a mess of IAP. It gave me immense pleasure. He's an Italian, not uh, English speaking. For greeting and support on this historical occasion. Jung's uni psychology has had a long and respectful relationship with China and its culture. And I'm sure that Professor Jung himself would have been exceeding grat gratified to learn of the existence of a such conference as ours. So he beautifully described for the first conference next. Next is from uh, Lena Van der Del. Lena Van der Del is uh, the second of the left, the first tall one, the David Lucen. And the, the third is uh, the second of the, the right, is uh, Stamari. Lena Van der Del said also beautifully, Kao psychology provides a theory and a message for the comprehension and the investigation of human mind and the spirit. Human mind and spirit is 
revealed through the study of culture and the individual. The first international conference of union psychology and the Chinese culture is a milestone in this exploration. Jung's appreciation of a Chinese culture was a promissory note for future generations of scholars to explore. Next. Next is the second conference with the title of uh, Images and the Gan Yin, East and West. Images is a uh, hidden power for union analysis, active imagination or sand play. But the behind of images, behind or beyond the hidden function for images is Chinese that uh, we call it from the heart to heart. Gan Yin is the high school of Yi Jin, 31 high school, touching by the heart. And the 61 high school, this pounding from the heart. So that's uh, the title of the second, second conference. Next. The Bridget was the, the president of the the Kusnak, the Sijun Institute, we are a very good friend. And I uh, asked her, she, uh, Bridget said, Spielman, you was always interested in promoting the dialogue between the East and the Western cultures. It's just very satisfying to hear that concrete, concrete steps are being taken in China to promote those exchanges. We hope that in the time of crisis in new, numerous parts of the world, I'm so sorry at that time have this crisis already, but today it's more crisis and the shadow influencers today. The exchanges will con contribute to withdrawing some of the shadow projections that are having such nefarious consequences and to better understanding between the different cultures. I think even today, that's many years ago, Bridget talk. So I picked up, which share with us, it's still true today. Next. Next is about the third conference. We have uh, ethics and wisdom. So ethics, ethics is so important, uh, but in early time, uh, we have the code of ethics to be a union analyst, to be a psychologist or scientific therapist. Uh, the boundaries, settings, all important, very, very important. But we are, if we are not, we are not, how to say, the book of Lao Tzu called Dao De Jing. The, we have to be integrate. The, that's the, like, more, like more, John Bibi have a book, integrate in depth. Integrate in depth. Well, this integrity is not inside. It's outside the rules. It's difficult. It's some difficulties. So John Baby talked about integrate, integrate in depth. So that's the meaning of the conference. Next. Next is, uh, I think, Galliard. Uh, Christian Galliard was the president of IAT at that time. He's from French. And he gave a speech, China, especially our relationship and our exchanges with China, with the Chinese culture, are clear to our heart since the very inception of the IAP and the even, I would say, since the very beginning of the Jungian psychology and, and, and analysis. Thus, I'm sure we deepen ourselves in opening our organization and our minds to East. And I do think that the theme of this Congress, East and West, Ethics and Wisdom, is the right theme for the encounters of these days. Next.
in China, we have worked very well with the embassy of Switzerland. And uh, that, that's from the Switzerland. Carl Jung, the Swiss psych psychologist, was the pioneer in building the active culture exchange and the comprehension between East and the West. Jung's encounter with Richard Wilhelm was decisive in building a bridge between Western thinking and the Chinese tradition. Jung recognized that the Eastern philosophy and the religion could great, greatly enrich Western psychology. He thereby initiated the real dialogue between East and the West based on open-mindedness, multicultural understanding and mutual respect. I mentioned that the wife of the ambassador of the Swiss Light in Beijing is a student of a CGO from the Kuznacht. Next. Next is, uh, I think it's about, I mentioned the first Yun week in China, yes. The, the, in the picture of the left, in the center of the middle is ambassador. His Chinese name is Gu Liang, and his wife somewhere, and we work together for this uh, first. It's very important that because the Switzerland in China is not a big country, not like um, United States, England, the British, they all influence the Chinese policy, but not Switzerland. So they have the, we have this uh, activity. We are very proud to have the chance in the big, in the uh, very interesting, uh, most important university, big university for CTU, the week for CTU. Next. Next. And just briefly, the, so we continued that in the China universities, there's a Fudan University, also very important university in China. We continue the U week every two years. Every three years, we have our international conferences of analytical psychology and the Chinese culture every three years. We have our nine, that's almost 30 years. Every two years in the China University since 2006, 2006, we have every two years have this week, your week in China universities. Every year we have a national conference. So that's, uh, one, two, three, next. Next, it's, uh, that's the first conference, uh, briefly. The first conference with the title of the image, Union Analysis, Active Imagination as a Transformative Function in Culture and Psychotherapy, next. That's in Fudan University. I was a professor there. I was a, oh, Hasa Solomon was the president of IAP. And he said, IAP and the Chinese Association of American Psychology working together for over a decade. This tradition is the innovation. Bring together analytical and Chinese culture with remarkable ways. We continue the forces of a tradition and the innovation uh, as work here in uh, uh, energetic and uh, emerging. The tradition and the innovation are being lived out in the present here, today, this place and into a noble future. I just every conference, we invited the best scholar of the Yijing, best scholar of Taoism, the best scholar of the Buddhism have a dialogue with the, our Yunji colleague, international union colleagues. Next. Next. The Yun's grandson, uh, the Andreas, uh, in our time of profound change and reversal, we need a new business, a stable groundwork which we may find in our psyche, each individual in his very show, 
So we approve very much of the interesting and the great effort of your conference at the Fudan University in search for the essence of the analytical psychology essence. We do hope you experience a fruitful conversation and achieve convincing results. I just stop here because uh, Marcus, we have a, I want to leave enough time for discussion. And in the 2016, in the uh, IAP 20 conference IAP, I gave a presentation that's in, the, in Japan. And usually Andreas, he's not a union analyst. He's the grandson of CGO, but he's an analyst. He not so often to uh, for attained professional activity, but in the I give a I give a primary uh, speech. Andrea is the first when I finished, and he he stand he came to me and talked beautifully. He said, "Who oh, you? You are speaking. I'm a city. I'm a lazy. Every word you're speaking into my heart." He said like that. And uh, so Andreas, and also, and very, a lot of stories between not only Sijun, but his uh, five children, all some special connection. And the third generation is grandson. Now it's the fourth generation of Sijun, like Thomas, like the uh, Thomas Fisher. I'm the chief editor of Collected Works. I sent contract with the Jung's family, the lawyer for the, we have a payment of the <laughs> collective works. And uh, Thomas Fisher was the, uh, now is, uh, he's, he's the president of Jung's Foundation. Okay, Marcus and also Isa, oh, I came, I'm ready for discussion now. Professor, muito obrigado pela sua exposição. É, os esforços que o senhor fez para sedimentar e implementar o estabelecimento da psicologia junguiana na China, são formidáveis. Parabéns, parabéns. Bom, pessoal, vamos abrir para discussões. Quem quiser fazer a pergunta, bota no chat. Professor, eu vou, pergu eu vou começar o nosso debate com uma pergunta simples, bastante simples. O que é a fome do coração? <risos> É, o senhor tem falado do conhecimento é. do coração. Eu, eu me lembrei sempre é. do livro do James Hillman, O Pensamento do Coração, aonde ele pega a ideia do Henri Corbin de rima, do coração imaginativo. Mas eu acho que o senhor está falando de uma outra coisa. Afinal, o que é o conhecimento e o que é a fome do coração. É uma pergunta simples, eu imagino. Ok. <laughs> It's ok. Please, uh, uh, Isa, could you write down for the chat there? So I can make sure I'm uh, talking about the responding to the question. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. The first, oh, the first of the first, I see. The, 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 uh, for instance, I'm uh, the first here I'm using is uh, from the Zhuangzi, probably it's not good translation. We are uh, vegetarian is the first. No, 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 vegetarian is not the first. If we have a special festival with some, uh, some religion, for uh, one week, you are not eating. That means the fast. The, it's a beautiful story about Confucian and his student. The student and uh, uh, met a difficult situation and uh, can, uh, ask the Confucian, Confucian, Confucius himself to, uh, for, for his teaching. And the Confucius asked him, you have to fast in your, he said, oh, I have no meat for three months. No meat for three months is not a kind of meaning of a fast. But 
Confucius said, no three months without meat, without meat is not, it's only for your stomach. I need you fast your heart. So the student don't know what's the meaning of the fast of the heart. He said, you just concentrate. We have a five organs, for instance, how to integ integrate your, your organs into one. Then don't hear with your ear, but hear with your heart. So that's a story about what's meaning fast of the heart here. So Jung, I quoted from C. G. Jung. You are not see with your eye, but with your heart. You are not hear with your ear, but with your heart. So that means of the fast of the heart from the Taoist story. Tá ótimo. Obrigado. Vamos lá. Vinícius, faz a sua pergunta, por favor. Vou tomar a liberdade de fazer ela em português e depois em inglês para o professor Shen poder entender numa boa, né? Então é um grande prazer conhecer Vinícius, uma honra. Vinícius, você não precisa fazer em inglês depois que a Isa está traduzindo para ele. Ah, Tranquilo. tá certo, então. Tá bom. Desculpa, então. Mas, então... É um, é um grande prazer, é uma honra conhecer o senhor, professor Cheng. Por favor, o que o senhor pensa sobre possíveis contribuições do Taiji Kwan para a psicologia analítica? Obrigado. Está escrito. Tá escrito. Eu escrevi. Eu escrevi. Eu posso repetir. Okay, sorry. I can repeat it. Let's see that. The, the, it's a, okay, thank you. It's my honor and the pleasure. Uh, to contribution Taiji Chen. Very interesting. Thank you very much. You know that uh, just the, in the Vienna conference to 19 VIP. They have a program every in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning to eight. I teach the Tai Chi chair to volunteer. <laughs> the, it's in the program of the last IEP conference. The Tai Chi is a three level of that. The first, I think it's very, I appreciate of that very much because uh, I play every day. So that's for almost like the moving meditation. Usually meditation, you have to sit in. <laughs> you have to sit there, concentrate. But for me, the, the moving is uh, still, the moving is a chair, the first high school. The sitting is a second high school, is a queen. So usually we balance of the moving and the still. So the Tai Chi chair, it's uh, related to the Yi Jing also, the, and related to the Chinese medicine. In the, in the early history, we are the similar of Tai Chi Chen, it's uh, five animals. First is tiger. We try to imitate, we try to, to move in like a tiger, for instance. And that's also uh, slowly, and uh, the tiger, the bear, and the monkey and the, the bird and also the, the bear. If you try to, and that's outside, everything outside is the learning object, but we have a tiger inside. That's aggressive things. The tiger is a killing. So if you, you, you for unity analysis, we try to integrate it and like John Beebe integrate, integrate in depth. That's virtue. If uh, even the Taoist, like a Tai Chi movement, it most important is not your strength fighting, but it's your inner virtue. Like the Taoist Tao, the way, and the virtue, the second is your virtue. So it's a good moment first, 
and uh, it's good for your health if you are keep and uh, for 10 minutes. And uh, I think most of our uni analysts is uh, sitting too long <laughs> for talking with the patient. If you have a uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you can, we have a different style of the Tai Chi chain. I think it's a philosophy in the, for instance, if you want to move to the West, you turn to the East first, then you can move to the West. So it's a simple body movement. You can, sometimes it's probably you can call the body therapy. And also the hand of body is the, is the philosophy and also probably it's your soul and the psyche is a movie. Um, it's, that's my responding for Tai Chi Chen. The Muito obrigado, Vinícius. Valeu. Sônia, querida, está contigo. In the, in the, in the Vienna conference, I'm Kisma. Every morning for the week, I'm Kisma learn the Tai Chi chair with me. Uh, about 50 of them. And uh, the chief editor for the Journal of Analysis and Psychology, I think the same name as you, Marcus. He's the editor for the Journal of Analysis and Psychology. About 50 uni analysts, they are learning the Tai Chi every day in the morning in the Vienna. Obrigado, Vinícius. Sônia, contigo, por favor. Bom dia. É, obrigado, professor. Foi muito bom. A minha pergunta se refere um pouco à, à medicina chinesa. É, eu tive a oportunidade de fazer uh, um pouco de acupuntura com o um professor e, e ele, em algum momento, expressou que no Oriente, especialmente com, no caso da medicina chinesa, não havia concepção de ego e colocou como se o oriental tivesse mais uma concepção do coletivo ao invés do, do ego individual, né? E o que a gente tem percebido com, com as culturas indígenas, por exemplo, é que existe uma noção de eu. Eu gostaria de saber se o senhor poderia esclarecer isso um pouco, porque é, essa é uma questão que eu acho que fica um pouco dúbia, é muito diferente, né, uma cultura da outra. Obrigada. Thank you very much. But I will think how to answer is uh, so interesting and important. I try to make some reflection. Uh, today, uh, I'm born in 1950s, and uh, even the new generation in uh, of the 20s, 30s in China, I think it's uh, for the last 100 years, Chinese is more and more no so big difference. The Chinese, Italy, as your country, so we are more closer at the first level, first level. So we learn English. We wear the, the, so we have a Christmas, uh, even some conflict with the policy, but for people, it's, uh, this is one part. The individual or ego side, I think even in the Asian China, we are not only the, the collected the ego, we have the individual. Individual, the, the, for instance, uh, I, with the psychology of the heart, I put the heart at three level. The heart, uh, three level, the first level, the heart, the Chinese character is related to Chinese medicine. The heart is, uh, I quoted from the uh, Yellow Emma Prior, the book. That's the original sources of the Chinese uh, Asian medicine. In that book, the heart is your root for personal life, 
we talk about the personal level, level uh, but it's the changing of your spirit. So in Chinese medicine, the yin yang, the balance is the most important. The, the, it's not the balance, so that you will be you'll be upset. The, so if anyway you like a Tai Chi moment, that's healing. That uh, use the five elements system, they can help each other and also can conquer that kind of balance. So the the second level, the heart, is about uh, it's called the Li Ji, the book of the ritual. The book of ritual, the heart is your your answers, your thinking, your solo. In the so I left the to yes of my poem point. I, I talk about the almost the first part for today. The second part is the red book and the, the knowledge of the heart. The third part is the Chinese characters with the was I talk about the psychology of the heart. So I'm not very sure, but anyhow, the, for the individual uh, ego or self, the, so in, I, I read of that kind of opinion, perspective, China is more collective. Today, the policy, I'm not always agree with that, they make more collective sense. They sacrifice the individual ego, individual purpose. I don't agree with that. It's not, it's uh, even, uh, I'm not talking today, huh? this is not really danger, but it's not good in China. <laughs> it's okay, I'm talking to you. But in the eight, for instance, in the 100 years ago, or 300 years ago, or, or 600 years ago, the empire, they want control of the people with that kind of uh, more collective, they sacrifice individual need, individual purpose. And uh, the family style compare, you, we cannot compare with the United States because they are only 200, 300, the young, that's kind of a new culture. But in China, the family, yeah, quite important. The family have the family purpose. The family is not only the that family, they belong to the village or the young the family. It's true. It's quite important to influence individual thinking. You have many, many times, even in the hundred years ago, we have to sacrifice for that big family. But like Ukraine, everyone sacrificed. Not everyone. Most of the people, even a professor, is sacrificed with the country. The country is collective. So uh, I'm not probably I'm not ready to. I will think. But thank you very much for Sonia. I'll keep for this. Uh, probably I can write to you to see. I don't agree with some of the professor's description. Of uh, I think it's a topic need go further exploration, what's behind of that? Uhum. Ah, obrigada, eu também acho, eu também acho, eu acho às vezes que, que a gente reduz muito para a nossa maneira de pensar, e as, e as diferenças culturais, é, só a pessoa da cultura, eu acho que conseguiria nos ajudar nesse diálogo, né? Muito obrigada, professor. Obrigado, Sônia. É, Giancarlo. Okay. I can, ah. one point, uh, that's, uh, yeah, one point is uh, you cut stone in Chinese for memorial for Tony Wolf, I mentioned, you can see the Chinese characters. He cut stone for, for Emma Yong, uh, that's 1955. Uh, Tony Wolf passed away in 1950. The last piece of a stone you cut in Chinese for himself, four characters. Uh, uh, the first character is heaven, very simple character. The second character is a uh, human, uh, The meaning of the four character, 
it's uh, the four he is integrated and the last one of the four is the one so heaven is collective in chinese ren is individual ego 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 many ego and uh, heaven is your bigger self nature so the purpose of individuation for si jun cut the last piece stone for chinese is integrity wholeness so your ego, according to Chinese Buddhism, you have to not really forget. We cannot, it's difficult to forget our ego. We have to eat, we have to sleep, we have to do a lot of work, we have to earn the money for instance. So the, the Buddhist try to use the Chinese, broken your ego. That broken is not a good translation because the ego have greedy. The ego have problem. The, the ego, I think if Sijun said the dangers come from the human himself is for the greed of the ego, the big ego. So the Chinese philosophy is to, the broken is uh, the better, the better description is transformative. is transforming your ego into the self. The big self of Sijun is the heaven. It's the nature. So one is the ego. Every society, we are Chinese, we have a problem in China, and the American problem have their problem in America, and uh, Germany, Japan, Korea. So every society in the long history have problems made by the ego, human ego. Even he's the king or he's, uh, he's the president, they all have problems. But the nature of a human in Chinese philosophy, we are, we are forgot, we are forget, we are far from our nature, from the Tao. Dr. Joe Henderson told me one time, for our union analysis with no secret, the active imagination is not our secret weapon. If we have a secret, that's the Tao. We, if we are away from the Tao or nature, we are sick. We have a problem. If we go back to the nature, to the Tao, that's the therapy, that's the healing. So that's I just uh, have the thinking by the Sunya, if the ego and the nature or the self. Mm -hmm. Obrigado, Sônia. Giancarlo, por favor. Olá, professor. Muito honrado em escutá-lo aqui. Muito legal essa conexão com a China, né? O, o Ocidente com o Oriente. É, entendendo que a gente sabe que o Oriente tem uma relação com o inconsciente mais antiga, né? E ainda acredito que muito filosófica, não como um sistema... É, nosso de estudo e um guiano alguma prática que a gente tenha técnicas para trabalho como que é para o senhor estar tá trabalhando hoje com a imaginação ativa sendo que o senhor colocou no seu livro que é, o Jung percebia que a imaginação é ativa e os, os, os sonhos já não davam mais conta desse trabalho então ele buscou expandir a China chegou até ele né através do Aixing como que é hoje para o senhor estar trabalhando aí através da conferência que a gente viu com a imaginação ativa e o, e o inconsciente chinês, né? A gente percebeu que existe o inconsciente chinês através dos seus relatos, dos seus próprios sonhos, né? Que está no livro também. E o que, que o senhor indicaria para nós estar trabalhando aí uma psicologia não do ego, mas uma, uma psicologia do self, alguma leitura ou algo nesse sentido? Muito obrigado. Thank you. Uh, I'm still uh, studying. I'm still uh, working. I think it's a very important question, or that's a question because we are not finished yet. We, everyone, we have to, uh, like Sijun, for instance, I first is Sijun. Sijun, when talk about the knowledge of the heart, and uh, that's related, I think it's a secret of the, not really secret, 
of the sick of the active imagination, where well, with the ego, from the ego side, it's difficult for you to do the active imagination. You said very clearly the most difficulty for active imagination because your ego try to control. Your ego not believe what's the images or what what coming from the unconscious. The ego tried to interrupt the process. So that's the Jung's, uh, and of course, Jung, Jung said the dangerous of active imagination, for instance, the transcendental function is 19, uh, uh, 1916. And Jung wrote the beautifully forward for this old essay on the transcendental function in 1950s. He made the warning of uh, uh, how the warning I quote uh, was the secret of the active imagination. To me, active imagination related to more the Jung's self, the big self self. If you are no connection with the self, you use your ego, that's not Jung's active imagination. This, act, this, this imagination is okay. It's not Jung's. Uh, so Jung, the, the red book or black books is the one, but the self related to the heaven, to if you are, what's called that? Uh, just for example, in the gate of a Kusnak Jung's house, translated into English, called or not called, the God is there. If the God is not the religious God, religious God, but it's your heart of your soul. Without your heart and your soul, you cannot feel yourself very well because the red book, every time I see you, my soul, where are you? So his, his, uh, his uh, Im active imagination is really try to make connection encounter with the soul. Without the soul, it's not so interesting of this uh, ego active imagination. So if for Chinese, Chinese philosophy is the Yijing, you wrote beautifully a foreword for the Richard Wilhelm's the translation of the Yijing English version. We know that Bias is your student and Richard Wilhelm translated with the psychology of Yijing beautifully. And then the Bias worked with the Richard Wilhelm Unfortunately, we have the Second World War and the delay of the English uh, publication, but anyhow, the bands have the English verses ready. Jung wrote the foreword beautifully. And Jung hesitated to, to write because Yijing is another kind of uh, system of knowledge. He not, he, he tried to consult Yijing. If I write the foreword, I can get your permission. You allowed me to have this uh, opportunity to write a forward for. So he saw the Yijing is not a book. Yijing is, uh, that's active imagination. Yijing like a film. He has his responding. So you very sincere. That's you so sincere. And uh, that's the most uh, secret of Yijing. Sincere in your heart. And then he waiting, waiting is another secret weapon. You cannot push off the for so he's waiting. See, God has gone 50, the cauldron. The cauldron for CTU, this the the soul of the Yijing appeared in the image of the cauldron and the, through the image to to with the conversation with the CTU. Not a word, not Chinese, not English, not German language, but from the heart to heart. From the heart to heart is the meaning of the Yijing 31 high square and the 61. If I, anyone who, everyone who uh, like the Yijing, okay, that's how to make the, not from the head to head, from ego to ego, but from heart to heart. From heart to heart is the secret of my secret of active imagination. And, and then another, another part is, uh, like the Tao, the Tao following the nature, 
that's the translation. Uh, through the words by words, Dao Fa Zhi Ran. The nature is a teacher of the Dao. The Dao follows the nature. The nature in Chinese, not only the nature of the, the mountain and the forest, that's the nature, the land. But the nature is our inside essence is nature in Chinese. Your, your true self is your nature. So nature in Chinese have a several levels meaning, but uh, most popularly like the Taiji moment, you just, uh, it's your, this can be a very natural way. You are, you are not, you, you, if we are depressed, we are, we are well, this way. If we are relaxed, that's some, that looks like the, so there are many different meaning of the nature. So for active imagination, to me, to wait, not to push. Even active, I, I tried many years. Active is action, active. Get the meaning from unconscious, it's okay. Sometimes I still do that for the use way of active imagination, but at the same time, to wait, the image speak to you. I think that's also attitude of a CTU. My soul, where are you? Do you want to hear me? So he, he wait in the red book. So I think active is another kind of uh, active. And also the Jung's active imagination in the later years, Jung tried to move on intuitive method how to get to the total situation. The get to the total situation is not the purpose, how to get to the meaning from the total situation. So that's also you mentioned, that's from China, from the Yijin, from the Tao. Okay, I think I tried to, even my computer is not to work very well today. I'm so sorry I have to, uh, the, to help me to, to turn on the, the next and next. I should do that by myself. And uh, thank you so much for the translation, Lisa and Marcus. Professor, obrigado, yeah. eh, Giancarlo. Eh, professor, temos tempo para duas perguntas ainda? Martinha, contigo, por favor. Bom, primeiro, muito obrigada pela apresentação, não? O professor Shen foi realmente excelente. E eu e queria fazer uma coisa assim mais ligada à prática né, da análise. Eu queria saber um pouquinho como é que é a clientela, como as pessoas chegam para a análise junguiana, né, isso tem uma repercussão grande, a questão como é que é esse tratamento né, aqui, e se dá da mesma forma, né, quer dizer, são... É, qual, é o, né, qual é o setting, é, consultório, no mesmo... Né? com essas mesmas características ou tem outras seria isso obrigado yeah thank you thank you very much Marta uh, next time I'll ask Marcus send me information about your country uh, I need to learn uh, but in China I just remember Marcus you need to send me the history of uh, analysis psychology in your country, in your culture. So I really need that. But in China, I mentioned my professor, he introduced Sigmund Freud into China. At the same time, in the 1920s, he wrote the introduction of the CGU. But in China, uh, many, many years ago, they thought CGU is a student of uh, Freud and uh, they don't think analysis psychology is independent system is one part of psychoanalysis. So after my professor, uh, as Morris Dan mentioned, I became the first union analyst in the middle of China. Uh, in China, people thought something can compare with Japan, with a, a Kawaii, the father, and when the 1960s, 70s, they are uh, studying in Zurich, we went back to Japan. And I have another friend 
1963, from South Korea, went to Zurich to learn that you know, return back to South Korea. We, mainland of China in Asia, we have a almost similar difficulty. We thought the city was too mysterious. It's not scientific. It's, it's, it's some, so it's a, that's influenced the early days, the spreading or development of a city in the Asia. But we are, for me, I, for instance, I, we took the uni psychology to the curriculum the, of the universities. Uh, I set up three institutes at the three very important universities of a student. We make very good publication. I want the audience, the Chinese people know who is Sijun. Sijun, for instance, in China today, we have a psychoanalysis, we got therapy, we have a humanistic CBT, a lot of therapy in China. I want the people to know, all, so many psychology, but almost only CGU and the analytical psychology have a special relationship with the Chinese culture. So this effort, I published, I pub, I published a lot of book, I mentioned, I edited, I translated the collected works. So that's a very good received by the Chinese people because they, they felt the feeling for media for young psychology with the Chinese images, characters, the Tao, the Chinese Confucianism. So that's quite a special uh, the, the, for Chinese. And also I mentioned for almost 30 years, we have our international conferences with a title, uh, Uni Psychology, Another Psychology of Chinese Culture. I invited authorities, the senior professors of Yijing, Taoism. They are leading scholars. So that's influenced the people for their attitude to analytic psychology. So far, we are very, uh, very satisfied with the 30 years development. We have a society, China society, and also the, the, the people, we have an institute, we call the Oriental Academy for Analytic Psychology today. I think we have a 30 certified members of IAP, uh, but we, ha we have uh, probably 60 routers. We have, uh, yeah, so that's uh, for Malta for what's uh, today in China. Obrigado, Martinha. Verônica, você está aí, Verônica? Para fazer a sua pergunta? Estou sim. Por favor, prefiro que você fale, pode ser? Sim, claro. Bom dia, mestre Shen. Prazer. Muita satisfação em poder ter essa conexão com o outro lado né, do mundo. E a minha pergunta é com relação ao tal. Se o senhor acredita que nós, ocidentais, é, temos muita essa ansiedade, essa ambição em alcançar o tal, que até onde eu entendo não é um lugar fixo e atingível, de fato, né? E se a obra do Jung vem, inclusive, para facilitar essa nossa compreensão, acalmar essa nossa ambição, até em compreendendo que a vida é movimento, né? Equilíbrio é movimento. É, então, basicamente, né, é compreender se o tal e a obra do Jung vem trazer para nós do Ocidente um pouco dessa calmaria, não é bem assim, né? Thank you, thank you very much. Let's see the the uh, some of the senior union analysts. I just name some of them, like John Bibi, he's eight six years old, like Rusama. He's uh, about 90 years old, and they all wanted and they, re they did learn Chinese characters, like Rusama and the Sandy Police Arpe. And uh, Morris Dan, the, and uh, like, the, let me see, the Tao is just the pronunciation 
even the character in Chinese is not really the Tao because uh, Lao Tzu himself, he said, he can feel something we call the sake maybe, or the soul. The Tao probably similar the, the, the meaning with the soul, with the God for something. And uh, the Si Jiu himself, he, he felt that very well, but it's difficult to use the language to describe it, even in Chinese. So the, I think the Tao, if like the, or so, or Saki, everywhere, not in China, in Switzerland. So CGU encountered with the, with the self, with the Tao. And he's not belong to a country, even the Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine in China with the Zhong Yi, Yi is the medicine, Zhong, Zhong is not the land, name of the some somewhere the piece of a land like China. The Zhong is a philosophy. It's from the Yi Jing. The second line, the fifth line, is it called the the China. No, not not China. Like the equilibrium, the the mean, the Zhong. That's the Tao. Because the, your inner is your inner inside have a three lines. The middle one. It's called the, the, the key of the healing. The, the other part, you are like left and right, up and down, yin and yang. The center is the heart. Of course, the center is the heart. And then with the outer side, another three lines. So the fifth one is the, the secret of the Chinese uh, medicine. The Chinese medicine, how to get the so the, 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 the heart and the center, the mean, the equilibrium is re related to the Tao. In Chinese, the Zhong is uh, the character. We have the sun. The sun is the earth turning itself. But we thought that the sun, the earth turning 24 hours, we are turning around, but we have a feeling image of the sun is rising and it is done, for instance. Then we have a shadow if the sun, but the moment there's a C. Jones uh, conversation with the mountain lake, the, the different the moment, the moment, for instance, if uh, the, the character is like the, you, you have a stake, the moment is no shadow, that moment, you are yin and the yang, you are dark and the light. Dark, shadow have some meaning. We cannot live without the shadow. I'm not very sure. We cannot live without sickness. We are purpose. We, we have to seek. We have to die. We cannot love, live eternity. We have to die. The shadow, the sickness is one part of our life. So that's also the shadow is our partner. But how we integrate, how our attitude, how our beyond of that, or transcendental, or, or how to contain. So for the, the Chinese, the Tao, I think my feeling, union psychology is really beautiful. It's, a, it's, a, it's a one of the best therapy, the best. And besides of the therapy, we have a center player, we have an active imagination, for instance, but you can find your inner need without going to the church. For instance. Yeah, we have the God, like like Sidney said, called or not called, the God is always there in your heart. And the so the the, the third level is not is not a simple therapy because we are not just helping the other people, we are help ourselves. We call it individuation. So we have our, at the same, at, we work with the patients, with our clients, but that's the fit, fitting meeting with the Chinese philosophy. We have to save ourselves. We are not to save the, the world. We can help our patients, but we have to, at the same time, we save ourselves. Okay, thank you. Obrigado, Veronica. Professor, 
Vou fazer a última pergunta para o senhor, para a gente encerrar essa belíssima manhã. É, daqui a alguns anos, a China vai se tornar a maior potência, a maior economia do mundo. Ela já é uma potência econômica, a China já é uma potência tecnológica, já é uma potência educacional. A minha pergunta para o senhor é, que país é esse chamado China? Thank you so much. A uh, few years ago, I have added us in the conference with the title Modernity East and West. And the uh, last one is the global, in the process of global, what's the meaning of the West and the uh, East. China, to me, the real Chinese, we have a beautiful professor in the, he passed many, many years ago. He named himself the last Chinese people. He's a Gu Hongmin. He's quite famous. He's very good English. He beautifully written in English. What he said is uh, many, many Chinese people have uh, 1.4 billion. Uh, but, and he said, he's the last Chinese. The real Chinese, you have to have your, the Tao in your heart. You have, a, you have the sympathy, empathy. You have the compassion. You have to, you can carry on the Confucianism. Confucianism is, uh, is, uh, is the same as the world, human being. Even you are born in your country, in, in England, in, in Italy, in Germany, we are the same. We have the same heart. That's the Confucius, the first principle. We have the same heart. That's the real Chinese, unfortunately. Unfortunately, this most famous professor, he named himself the last Chinese. But another uh, quote uh, like in the, uh, the last, I think it's uh, in the, this point, point, a quote from Richard Wurham. Uh, one of the book by Richard Wurham is the soul of China. This marks your quest, the soul of China, the body. Every day, many people born in China, many people died in China, but that's just the, for ego. We're talking about the ego. But what's the real meaning, the soul of China? Richard Wilhelm. Richard Wilhelm, for the book, he loved China very much. He loved the people there, Richard Wilhelm. So he never persuaded any Chinese to become his missionary, became his follower, but he totally, and uh, to become a Confucianist, the, the Richard Wilhelm. The last words, I think the, Isa can show the, with the, the silver China. The real China, the meaning of China is there. I think the same, uh, let's see, okay, if we have the, 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 I just read that part, if we can share for the point point. Yeah, this one. So reach the work, the book, that's the book, the silver China. In the old and in the new, there was nevertheless a common element to the soul and the heart of China in the course of evolution. Economic, but the soul is more important. The soul and the heart, which had not lost its gentleness, nor its calm, and will, I hope, never lose them. And that's Richard Wilhelm also is my hope. Not lose the soul, not lose the gentleness and its calm. Thank you very much. Professor, muito obrigado pela sua disponibilidade. Queria fazer vários agradecimentos ao senhor. Primeiro, primeiro pelo horário. Já são onze e meia da noite aí na China. Desculpe ocupá-lo por tanto tempo. Então, queria agradecer pela sua paciência. Segundo, pela sua generosidade em estar conosco e nos apresentar essa, essa riquíssima história da relação entre a cultura chinesa e a psicologia junguiana. E um terceiro agradecimento é por nos brindar com essa aula 
de lembrarmos que, se o tal não estiver no coração, não há nada a ser feito. Muito obrigado. Espero que o senhor tenha gostado. Para nós foi uma experiência é, sensível, intelectual, emocional. Foi uma grande aula para todos nós. Espero que possamos ter novas oportunidades de trocar com o senhor. Muito obrigado. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for the invitation, and it's my honor. And it... Pessoal, é... acho que não tem muito o que dizer, né? Tá tudo dito. Okay. É... Obrigado pela presença. In the COVID-19, so welcome to China. Com certeza, iremos, iremos. Obrigado pela presença. Queria agradecer muito as pessoas que fizeram as perguntas. É, ajudaram bastante a todos nós. Obrigado, Giancarlo. Obrigado, Verônica, Sônia. É... E é isso, gente. <risos> Vamos para o sábado com tal no coração. Tá bom? Um beijo em todos. Até a próxima. Voltamos no Teaços no dia, Luciana? Dia 10. Dia 10, 10 de junho. junho. Com Gustavo, Gustavo. Pontelo. A Vamos minoridade sim. da infância e a psicologia analítica. Um, um outro agradecimento especial, Isa, querida. É, <risos> sempre um prazer enorme ter você do lado. Tá? <risos> um beijo grande. Até lá, pessoal. Bom final de semana. Beijo.